Hi everybody, welcome to Pilates from the Polytunnel. Let's have a look at the four point kneeling position. It's a very active position ready to exercise. Um, the body is lifted away from the hands, away from the mat. As you can see, it's, a, it's also known as tabletop. The limbs are vertical, wrists beneath the shoulders and the knees beneath the hip joints. The knees are about a fist width apart and for me the hands are pretty well the width of the mat here with my fingers slightly spread. Let's have a look at a few alignment issues that show themselves in class sometimes. Locked elbows, bracing the elbows or hyperextending. If you just let them soften if you, and if you really hyperextend just let them bend slightly. A very dropped posture, particularly a dropped head that I describe as a hibernating tortoise. Okay, We just need to lift right up and keep the spine straight. Got a nice exercise to do here is what I call um, platex, which is to lift the whole length of the spine and separate the shoulder blades, lift and separate. Have a go at that. So if you just uh, leave the head behind, the back will round, and I'm getting a bit of a hump there. So bring the head up as the top of the movement to lift the whole spine up. Another uh, alignment issue is coming down with a very rounded back. It's like a self-protective sort of position. I'm, I'm almost in a cat stretch there. So if I just let the pelvis tip forwards and bring the head up and get the back straight. If we move on to the tabletop exercise itself, um, I'm using the half roll here as a plumb line, as a straight line. In Pilates studios they might use a, a pole across the back. If you, the idea of the exercise is to come onto two limbs from four, keeping the back straight. So if I start to stretch away that right leg, get the leg straight, and then engage the buttock to bring the leg up as high as I can without arching the back, and then bring the left arm forwards, so the limbs are stretching away from one another without extra daylight in the back, so I've flopped there and I'm wobbling, so there's a neutral spine. Finally, let's have a look at the exercise that I call the conveyor belt that I throw at you every now and again. Um, I've got the half roll on my back as you can see and the exercise is about um, finding an isolated movement of the pelvis and the lumbar spine on its own. Um, so if I arch first you see lots of daylight and then tuck and arch and tuck and gradually you can see the log starting to be pulled backwards. There's no thoracic movement or very little and by the time I've done that three or four times the log will sit on my heels and back into neutral.